Some dogs, especially former strays and unsocialized dogs, may have learned that they needed to use acts of aggression to be able to survive. The only way to stop the cycle of your dog responding to unfamiliar or fearful events with aggression is to demonstrate consistently to him that that no one will inflict pain or suffering onto him and for you to give him other viable avenues of behaviors for him to use. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Things that your dog can be taught to do instead of reacting to a new situation with barking, lunging, snapping, or snarling. 1. Go to a mat or bed and lie down when instructed to do so. 2. Come and sit in front of you, watch you, and get a treat. 3. Go get a chew toy and redirect his anxiety to chewing. 4. Look to you for instruction and leadership during tense or fearful situations. Also, if you have an aggressive or reactive dog, you need to avoid encouraging domination games and overly excited roughhousing between humans and with other dogs. At this point, these dogs lack the skills to be able to stop themselves from reacting to excitement or fear with an explosion of aggressive energy. Noisy or overly stimulating dog toys are also not recommended for these dogs until they have been conditioned to better handle their fear and anxiety. Training is not about compliance through force or punishment. Aversive training methods are never recommended for any dog but especially not for aggressive or reactive dogs. When it comes to training an aggressive or reactive dog, techniques that use heavy-handed or physically punishing training methods will only serve to reinforce their need to be aggressive. Aversive training methods would include the use of choke chains, prong collars, or correction shock collars, alpha rolls or ear pinches, squirting dogs in the face with liquid, scaring or startling him with loud noises, yelling or screaming at your dog, physically hurting him or dominating him in any way. If you react to aggression with aggression it only serves to add fuel to the dog's fire. If you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or frustrated with your dog's aggression or reactivity, please contact a qualified trainer or behaviorist, preferably one that has direct experience working with huskies or malamutes and they can give you some suggestions as to the best way to work with your dog. How to begin change. To begin changing the cycle of aggressive behaviors there are four areas of concern to address. 1. Manage your dog's environment so he does not get the opportunity to practice the behavior. Be proactive. If a triggering opportunity never arises, then the dog never gets the opportunity to react to the trigger. So whenever possible manage the dog's environment to reduce and remove the triggers to his aggression. 2. Identify all the triggers for his stress and aggression. If you don't recognize the triggers to your dog's aggression then you cannot begin to manage your dog's problem. Look for the patterns to his aggressive behavior. Be aware of all the body language and clues that your dog is giving you to show you that he is uncomfortable or afraid within his environment. 3. Break down the short-term and the long-term strategies to deal with the triggers to the aggressive behavior. Changing behaviors in a dog is a process and processes take time so that means that you need to approach the behaviors with both short-term and long-term goals in mind. 4. The short-term goal is always to keep the people in the environment safe in the moment so sometimes that may mean using a muzzle for a while. While the use of a muzzle is not a long-term solution to a behavior problem, it is a suitable short-term solution to address the issue of immediate safety. And lastly, there is the issue of providing good, stable, consistently strong leadership. Dogs need to have a strong leadership presence at the helm of the social group or they will feel obligated to step in to lead the group. There are some antiquated ideas about this issue. For the most part, dogs are not plotting coups to overthrow the local governing body in your household. Dogs that are not natural leaders but find themselves thrust into a leadership position by default are not comfortable acting in this capacity. Dogs who find themselves in this position will usually behave in a very anxious, fearful, unstable, and oftentimes aggressive fashion while they remain in the leadership role. They would very much prefer to have someone else steer the ship but the natural drive to survive is strong and they do what they feel is required for them to survive. 
So for those owners who do not give their dogs consistency, rules, training, or expectations for their behavior, if you think that you are doing your dog a favor by letting him make up his own rules, your dog does not see this a benefit. Quite often the root issues for aggressive dog behaviors is due to nothing more than a lack of strong leadership on the part of the owner. If this describes your dog ownership style, then you may want to reconsider this choice. If not for the sake of peace and safety in your own household, then do it because you love your dog and you want to do what is best for him. Some strategies that you may wish to employ. 1. Manage the behavior and the environment. 2. Changing associations. 3. Training a new behavior. 4. Eliminate the trigger or stressor. Stress is a trigger for aggression. Another important factor in changing the cycle of aggression is to make sure that the dog is given appropriate and adequate breed-specific physical exercise. A dog that has pent-up energy without an outlet for it is stressed and he is in danger of funneling his stress into an aggressive outburst. If you are really unsure of how best to handle your dog's behavior, please consult a qualified trainer or behaviorist who can properly assess the behaviors and offer you a plan for safely and gently handling your dog's behavior modification. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.